Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdo. So in the previous video, we have learned about the input transform properties and all those things, right? So now in this video, what I want to explain you is about the input aliases. Input alias means, for example, let's say that we are having this count property, right? For example, I don't want to use this count. Pro I want to, I want to change this value or otherwise I want to count properties there. But here I will try to change this input value. Like let's say that dummy name or anything, dummy name counter or anything. But here it has the name has been changed, right? But I don't. But this reference, that reference has been used in so many places. This count play. So here instead of that one, we can mention the alias. Alias. So this one I will be mentioning it like this. Now automatically, so whatever the component you are trying to mention this dummy name counter, it will be it will be used as a count thing. Now you can use the same variable count, but in the component thing, you need to mention it as a dummy name counter. So this is one thing. So you can specify the alias option to change the name of an input in templates. In the templates, if you want to change the name, then you can use the alias option so that you can use it automatically. So this alias does not affect the usage of the property in the TypeScript code. While you should generally avoid aliasing inputs for components, this feature can be useful for renaming properties while preserving an alias for the original name or for avoiding collisions with the name of native DOM element properties. The input decorator also accepts the alias as its first parameter in place of the config object. So instead of using this config object, it also takes a, it also takes the accepts the alias as its first parameter in the place of config object. So fine. So now another one which I want to tell you is the inputs with the getter and setters thing. So this is one of the important concept which I want to explain you. So let's try to see about this getters and setters. So why we use these getters and setters? So that is also one of the important thing. In Angular 17, using getters and setters for a component's input property is a common practice to manage the data flow. The getters allows you to retrieve the current value of the property, while the setter lets you execute the additional logic whenever the property value changes. So I will try to explain you this one uh, with a simple example, this concept. So here I will be generating a new component. So don't mistake. So here I'm using the Angular CLI NGGC uh, getter input. I will be using the getter input automatically this uh, what I want to tell you is the component will be created so here GC means generate component so if you are familiar with the angular CLI you can watch my course I have already did this angular CLI course in my channel so you can check that one so G for generate and C for component it, it will generate the component so let let us create it it will take some time to create let it create so now here the component has been created let's go into this one so here I am having this getter input and let's go to the TS file. So this is our component. Uh, this is the app getter component. So what I want to tell you is so here I want to take an input property. Okay, so that should be an title. Okay, for this getter input property, we will be having a title. So let's try to add the get title. So I am adding this get title and here we will be returning written this dot underscore title. Okay, so but we need to mention this one as a private property okay let's import this private private underscore title okay so i am mentioning it like this private underscore title of type string is equal to empty we'll try to make it as an empty okay so now here input let's import this input from the angular core now i want to set the title also set title so here in the setting the title what i want to tell what i want to do is so here title or otherwise value of type string we are getting of type string right so here i can do return or sorry this dot this dot underscore title is equal to value value dot trim i can use the trim and i can do it to uppercase okay so this is the input property. So we can also use the getter and setter properties like this. Now, if I want to use this one getter dot input dot component dot is there, right? So we can directly go to getter dot input dot component dot html file. So here I'll be using this getter input and here we can use something like h3 getter input component and I want to show the title, right? So here I can write the due and here I can use title. 
okay so this is a react js notation so we'll use the title here so fine i want to use this one in our app component.ts so here we need to import this one there is nothing but getter input component so we have imported this one so what i need to do let's go to the app component.html and i want to use the getter so here i can write div okay and this one will be something like app iphone getter iphone input and i am getting the title so here this time we don't have the angular basics is the title right so we will be having this title here so title angular basics is there now it has entirely converted into uppercase letter why because so we are using in this one so getter property so get title we are using so it will get the title and set title we are using this dot underscore title so like this we can use it okay so here what i want to do is the here we have declared a private property is declared to store the actual the value this is a common pattern to prevent direct external access to the internal state so next one i am using the get title this method returns the current value of the underscore title when you need to access the title in your template or or elsewhere in the component you will use this getter and the second one you are using is the setter set title value you are using right this setter is decorated with the input which makes the title property bindable from a parent component the when the value of title is set either from a parent component or within the component itself the setter logic is executed here the title is converted into uppercase so in this example we are we are doing it is converted into an uppercase but you can also add whatever logic you want you need it and in the template what usage we are using our flower brackets that one title right to utilize the getter to display the transform title so that is one thing and in the parent component from the parent component we will be calling it a title hello angular angular basics we are using it right so we are calling it like that so this is one thing and usage pros and cons of these getters and setters is one is encapsulation additional logic on the setter function we are using computer property getter can be used to create computer properties that derive their values from, from other data this is useful when you want to display a modified version of the input data without altering the original source so you don't want to alter the original source then without uh, altering it if you want to use it means then you can use this getter data and the another one which i want to tell you is which i want to tell you is uh, what we are trying to discuss <clears throat> improved readability change detection in angular using setters for input properties can be an effective way to react to changes in the input data without the need for additional change detection mechanism we'll try to learn about this change detection strategy also and the cons of this one is performance overhead getters and setters can be used can be can can introduce a slight performance overhead especially if the logic inside them is a complex or if they are called frequently and complexity potential for misuse testing challenges indirect data flow so like this you will be having so the decision and the conclusion is use yours to use the getters and setters it should be based on the specific requirement of your application so they are particularly useful when you need additional control over how a property is accessed and modified so that is one thing which i can explain you so that's it guys about this uh, getter and the setter property so before closing this one i want to explain you another one is uh, one thing is the specifying the inputs in the component decorator okay so there is also one scenario which you can specify the component in the component uh, decorator for example let's say that we are having this counter dot counter dot component dot ts file so we are having an input thing so i want to uh, i will extend so where we will be extensively using is i will be extending the getter input component okay and in this one you are having an input property right i want to mention that input property so how can i mention this one so for example let's say that in our app component dot html so this is our app component and here we need to send the title okay title is equal to title i will be sending the title now i want to use this title right i want to use this title so where can i use this title uh, in our counter dot component dot html right counter dot component dot html in this one i am using like this right ng if counter showing it message so here i can use this title directly why because we have inherited the input property and also i am sending the input property also so now if you try to refresh this page so we are able to see the same angular basics here but we are whatever the code we have written in our getter input.component.html tts file the same logic we are able to execute this in our counter component also but this time what we are trying to use it we have used this extending thing 
so now the another developer who are trying to check they may get confused that where is that input property so you can mention it here in our uh, in our uh, what i can say is in our uh, component decorator so what are the input properties we are trying to uh, send it so here i can write the title okay so this is also one thing which we are trying to send it so you can mention it here also not a problem or other is we don't mention is also okay so like this you can mention the input property in addition to the input decorator you can also specify a components inputs with the input property in the component decorator this can be useful when a component inherits a property from a base class so when it is inheriting the property from base class this will be useful you can also additionally in specify an input alias in the inputs by putting the alias after a call in the string so if you think that it is this is getting something like overridden or anything means so here you can write counter title so this is an alias name okay so you can also mention it like this now if you try to see here counter title title it is there right uh, so like this you can mention it and here let's try to see how it will look like i do not know i never use like these things let's try to see before closing of this one or otherwise if you want you can also check it counter dot component dot html so how i need to use whether i need to use this counter title here a counter title we are getting it as an empty does not exist and here title we are able to use this title right but in our app component html i think we can send it as a counter title i think yes so same thing it will work so if you have a counter title the same thing it will work so this is guys about this one so which i want to explain you hope you understood about this concept so if you have any doubts or any suggestions i will first i will i will uh, create a new branch so why i am doing these all the things is so that you can have a reference so whenever you want to refer this code means so i will be providing this github repository url in the description below so you can take a look at that one so input getters and setters so this one also you can do it so if you are maybe having doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you